Hello, my name is Tony Du and I'm founder of Focus Law. Now, have you heard that all businesses live or die by the contract that they sign? That is true. And that's why the contract must be clear when it comes to what all parties are agreeing to. If parties have different interpretations of what they agreed on, the dispute will inevitably surface. In fact, the ambiguity in a contract is often the reason parties file lawsuits in the first place. They have a different interpretation of what they agreed on, and they want to have a third party with no stake in a contract that has authority to decide which side is clear or which side is correct. Okay? To reduce the chance of a dispute, it is important to avoid the ambiguity in the contract in the first place. In fact, if there is any ambiguity in the contract, the case will be ruled against the drafter of the agreement. And that's in the California Civil Code. Now, how can we avoid the ambiguity in the agreement? Well, because the contract is written in English, the English language construction still applies. Yes, fundamentals are still the key. Here it goes. Rule number one, keep your sentences short. Number two, start every sentence with a subject closely followed by the verb and end with the object. Three, place all adjectives close to the words that they are modifying. Fourth, use words consistently throughout the document and clearly define the terms with special meanings in the context of the transaction. If party are actively engaged in negotiation of the agreement, uh, of the transaction, I should say, and drafting the agreement, insert the following clause to deal with the potential issue of contract ambiguity. Now, be careful. This is not legal advice. I'm providing this as a educational purpose only. Okay, make sure that you talk to your attorney about the usage of the following clause. Here it goes. Ambiguity, period. Each party and its counsel have participated fully in the review and revision of this agreement. Any rule of construction to the effect that ambiguities are to be resolved against the drafting party shall not be applied in the interpretation of this agreement. Again, make sure you talk to your attorney before you include this clause in your agreement. Also, be sure to delete or modify the first full sentence if one party has not fully in fact uh, participated in the contract drafting process. Although you don't need a, uh, a lawyer to prepare for an agreement, Okay, which I'm not recommending that. Having a lawyer involved in the drafting process, the agreement often prevents the ambiguity issues, minimizing the potential of thousands of dollars spent in a legal fee later on. If you have any question about a current transaction that you're involved in and want to effectively memorialize the deal in writing, call our office at 714-415-2007. You'll be glad that you did. I'll talk to you soon.